Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Slasher Scotty. I am your host, Scotty McCoy, and boy, do I have a surprise for all of you. I have on Zoom with me right now, Robert Pawanda, and he played Ryan in Friday the 13th, Dead Before Dusk, and he is a streamer for the Blaster Raw Twitch channel. Hey, Rob, how you doing? How's it going, Scotty? How you doing? Doing good. I'm doing good. I'm glad that you can join me. I know uh, this is uh, we were scheduled, I believe, for last week, but things got shifted, and we were here making it happen. They they did. They did. A couple things uh, fell fell through, but you know what? We're yep. back better than ever. Absolutely. So the first question I got for you is, how did you get happen to get involved with Friday the Thirteenth, Dead Before Dusk? So it's kind of a <laughs> kind of an odd story. <laughs> I was visiting uh, visiting my girlfriend and uh, Amanda. Uh, Amanda Megan, she was the one that uh, actually approached me about needing a, a cameraman, or it was I, I might have been you. I forget who one of you guys contacted me, uh, and you guys needed a cameraman at first. And I was like, Yeah, I'm completely down. I have off that day, I got nothing to do. I told you if you guys need help, you guys can definitely you know come to me. Yep. And uh, I believe I went to bed that night and I woke up to a whole bunch of messages saying, like, Hey, uh, Ryan is uh, Ryan isn't able to make it at the moment. The guy's playing Ryan, so we kind of w- would you be interested in, in uh, having a role? And I'm, I was kind of just thrown into it. <laughs> I don't th- I don't even think I read the script yet at the, at that point. <laughs> and I, I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know who I was, what was going on, where we were filming, anything about that. And yeah. I believe it was like six o'clock in the morning when I got it. And uh, yeah, Carl came, picked me up, and he's like, yeah, so when we get there, he's like, I'll, sh- I'll show you the script. He's like, uh, you only have a little bit to go over it, figure out what you can. He's like, don't worry about it. I believe you were you were telling me, like, don't worry about it. I know it's last yeah. minute. <laughs> it was just mm-hmm. an all-around weird time, but it was actually a great experience. Yeah, it was, and it, like you said, it was it was very last minute, and like you probably got like mess. I know you got a bunch of messages from me, and I'm assuming you got a bunch from Amanda and probably even from Carl. Oh, yeah, I was getting I was getting slaughtered. Even the group was kind of like, hey, hey, at 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 at. <laughs> so, what was it like filming your death scene? It was actually really cool. Like, it, there's a little tidbit actually uh, when it comes to that as well. Uh, I didn't know how we were going to originally do the death scene. I believe we actually had a plan for... I forget how I originally I was supposed to I think it was die. a machete through the back and out the torso. I thought, yeah. And then we kind of... We were looking around. We got to the filming spot uh, in the woods out there. And next thing I know, we were just kind of jogging ideas. Like, like maybe, uh, maybe we can get something to look cooler. And at some point, I believe we didn't really have, like, any, like any floral deaths or anything like that, I think, at that time. And we were looking, and we saw these really pointy trees. They were all over the place. And we kind of came up with the idea that maybe I should get impaled by one of them. Jason will walk up to me and just kind of jam me through it. And it, I think it worked out pretty well, even though we had yeah. to do a lot of modifications to, uh, I believe, the, the little suit that they had to put on me, yeah. which was basically, I don't, I don't know what kind of material it was made out of, like styrofoam maybe. And we kind of had to inject, I think there were, was it the blood capsules? And I yeah. had to put blood capsules in my mouth too. And that didn't quite pop like I was expecting it to. Because if you looked at the picture that you posted up, I noticed it was kind of like one little drop down my lip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was trying to go to look like it was really running and it just, it did not cooperate. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was a really cool death, though. I know we were having trouble um, editing the one part because of the way the camera was uh, faced at the time, and we didn't realize it until after we finished filming it. And uh, I know that uh, we had to quick do a, a like a one or like one point five second quick shot of you going into the tree itself, like the dummy yeah. itself. I think a lot of it had to do with the way Tyler was playing Jason had to yeah. uh, push it in because I think it it wasn't meant to go into a tree. It was meant to no. take a machete. That's the way it was built. I remember everybody was afraid because at one point we had a break. Like, we basically only had one shot at it. Mm-hmm. So we there was the point that was on the tree. We either had to either, like, find a new tree if it didn't work because, I mean, we had to break off the little point that was on the tree. And if I backed up too far, I really would have actually gotten paled. Yeah. So we, we I think we backed me up for that one one and a half seconds 
and then we snapped it off and then i guess that's where we i i, I held that broken part and i i held it i think sticking out of my my chest i believe yep <laughs> i was trying to figure out like if i'm holding it how can i make it look decent and right i, I think it came out pretty well i do but, too I, I really enjoy that scene i i think your scene and uh quentin scenes were really really like your death scenes are really good there was a lot of props i noticed involved in it really too that was something yep. that surprised me like i wasn't expecting the tree death yeah uh, I forget who, uh, what his name was that that rigged up most of that stuff, but he did an amazing job. Yeah, uh, William did young. It's uh, Tyler's stepdad. Yeah, he did an amazing, that tree, that, when you actually, when the, uh, Jason pushed Quentin into it, yep. I heard the creak, and it sounded, it sounded really good. Yeah, it did. It did. I know he was, he was asking a bunch of us, like, to look for trees that were on the side of the road just to use like to cut up or whatever. And I'm like, I don't know where I'm going to find any of this. How are we going to get this all the way to your house? So he ended up making like an actual tr little miniature tree from a real tree in his backyard. And if you look at the scene between for Quentin, when he's, when we're in the sport where, where he's just gets done taking his piss and he goes out and he walks around to the point where Jason grabs him down. Those are two different filming areas, but they look just the same they look one, identical. one is in shendo heights and the other one is in monterey plain the backyard of tyler's house and they yep. look just similar it meshed well it meshed very very well i wasn't expecting uh when i was watching it i watched it twice just to double check to see if i missed anything and, and they look exactly similar yeah yeah Especially it was very good because i believe when quentin dropped down i, I believe that we filmed that uh that was in Monet Plain at Tyler's house. There you go, Monet Plain. I keep thinking yeah. of Gerard for some reason. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I remember in the film, there was a spot that looked like it was leading to that. And if yeah. you didn't know the area, you would think that that was all filmed in one location. Exactly. Exactly. It, it really was a very, it was very, it worked out perfectly, I think. It did. I remember at one point, though, during my death sequence, yep. uh, I actually had um, some of my cologne on. And, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Tyler came up, he pushed me in, and he, he, we had to sit there in that pose for, for like a minute or so. And he's all he was, he just starts smelling me. He's like, oh my God, you smell good. I'm like, thank you. And then he pushed me even, even harder. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, awesome. Smell great by Jason. Yeah, right. So, what was the most challenging part about filming Friday the 13th, Dead Before Dusk? For me, it was easily remembering the script. I think I only had like 30 minutes before filming to actually look, figure out yeah. what was going on. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. And no, most fine. of the time, I, I had it ad-libbed. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a lot of stuff, especially when uh, between me and uh, uh, Brett Harris, a lot yep. of that was ad-libbed. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I believe you were in that scene as well, off to the right, and I accidentally took your line. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Like, oh, that matches really well. That matches really, really, really well. Yeah, and uh, and uh, Brett, he uh, like he's very good at ad libbing. Like even when we were filming seventy two, I'm not gonna give away a lot of spoilers for that. But like even for seventy two, like we were we were in the woods and like deep in the woods, and uh, yeah. he was uh, and uh, all all the, he's one of the campers, and all the campers are like walking past, and uh, uh, the, uh, Tony who plays uh, Tate goes it's like I have to go to the bathroom, and uh, Brett goes just out of nowhere, ad libbed it completely. He goes. Well, he goes, pick your tree. There's a bathroom in the, uh, there's a bathroom every, every which way in Knucklehead. <laughs> there? I, I remember oh, okay. uh, when we were filming uh, with, with Brett on the other end of us, uh, at one yeah. point, because I was so tired and I wasn't prepared, I forgot that he was acting. <laughs> yep. I thought he was mad at me at one point for like not remembering my line. Because yep. I mean, I hadn't seen him at all when we first walked into the house. Yeah, uh, to get everybody ready. I believe he was already at the uh, at the site. Yeah, and I I didn't know what his lines were. I didn't know if I was like how I, I've never filmed behind a camera that wasn't gaming related. So right. it was I'm doing my lines. I'm like shit. Do I did I remember this? Did I remember this? And he looks at me. I was like, hey, buddy. And I'm like, oh shit. Oh wait, oh, wait. He's acting. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> now. Uh... I remember the scene where we, we threw in a sow in reference um, when uh, you said that movie sucked. So what did you think of sow and what did you think about that line being improvised into there? I'm sorry, Scotty. Hold on one second. Okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> we had a zombie crawling in here. I'm sorry. What was your question? I said, uh, what when um, I remember when the when we mentioned uh, Samhain and I said like that movie sucks. That was all improvised. Um, so what oh, did yeah. you think of the movie Samhain? And also, what did you think of that line being thrown in there? I really liked the movie Salmon, uh, mainly because it was, I, I, I never really saw anything uh, that was, I want to say, um, like B-style. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I it was mostly for me, I always watched stuff like, of course, like Jason, mm -hmm. uh, Friday, uh, Friday the 13th, and then some Asian horror. Mm -hmm. uh, and seeing the people that I saw in there did really good acting. They, they, mm -hmm. they, come, they knocked it out of the park. I got to see it, uh, I believe it was at... I believe it was at the release in the theater. Yeah, the movie premiere. Yep. And when we were shooting the the little scene there, we timed it perfectly. <laughs> we timed the joke perfectly. I don't want to give any spoilers away for it mm -hmm. yet. You know, that, that's for you guys to see first. Mm -hmm. And then, then you kind of get where we're like, ah, oh, you know, I get it. Yeah, that movie sucked. And we timed that excellent. And uh, again, I wasn't even on the on the same page that day with you guys. I was completely still off the rails. Yeah, but the movie sounding was it was fantastic, man. I yeah. I give you guys props. Thanks, thanks. And uh, I, I mean, if you thought that was good, wait till you see seventy two coming out. That was that is really coming out good. <laughs> I'm I'm absolutely psyched for seventy two. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. I can't wait to see that. So speaking of fun, what was the most fun part about uh, filming Friday the Thirteenth Dead Before Dusk? Hanging out with actually hanging out with everybody and we mm -hmm. just joking, making you know, having a good time. I was never on a set before. I got to I got to see special effects happen. Mm -hmm. I got to see scenes being done. It was it was by far one of the most fun experiences I've ever had. It was a big learning curve for me. Uh, it got me interested in photography. It got me interested in, in actually trying to reboot skits. Currently, mm -hmm. I'm out of commission. I'm actually using one arm to hold my phone. Mm -hmm. The other arms i got hurt at work but okay that's part of the story uh so i'm kind of on pause with that uh, all right but it made me start actually taking classes for it i i, I just found it to be really fun and intriguing yeah it, it really is and like when you see the whole when you see the movie atmosphere done um in person it's a lot different than when you're watching it and then when you oh, see it come, when you see it come to life like just see it put all put together edit it together music audio and everything it's amazing Exactly. Uh, I, one of my things that I used to do with a lot of movies, no matter what kind of movie it was, if it had mm -hmm. bonus features, I would go through and watch the making of. Even like yeah. on YouTube, I would actually go in because I was always interested in movie magic and computers and they kind of mesh together because yeah. you use you know, editing for the PCs, some cameras you need PCs for, stuff like that. And all of that, it's it just, I like to be an entertainer too. I mean, so, yeah. I mean, it, it all meshes very well. It's yeah. very intriguing. A lot of people, uh, they I, they find that they don't want to know the magic of it, which is totally fine because that's great on my end. I can make it look, I can, right. we can make it look real and you wouldn't even know it. Right. Yep. Absolutely. So we know that you have a, a streaming channel on Twitch called Blaster Rob. So can you tell us a little bit about the channel and what the uh, people can expect if they visit your channel? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, so I'm Blaster Rob, uh, as you guys should know by now. Uh, I do a lot of gaming. It's mostly various different types of game, more of like a variety channel. Uh, I kind of sort of link my YouTube with that as well with the way I record the games. Uh, but when you come in, the, the idea is that you're going to have a good time. You're going to have a relaxing time. I know I work 12 hours a day. It's a long day. You don't want any trolls. You don't want anybody, you know, yelling at you or making fun of you, arguing with you. So the, the community is meant to be a place you can just come and hang out. It's like hanging out with your friends uh, at their house, playing a video game, like back in the day, you know, when everybody sit at their, their houses with their Super Nintendos and their PlayStation 2s. Now you could just do it on the internet, it, you know, and you could do whatever. We could have fun with the stream. I have things linked to the stream that can help you have fun with the stream. Like you could play cards on me that make me do certain things. Uh, sometimes I forget to drink water. There's a button for that. You could remember, you could remind me to take a drink. You could remind me to, oh, you might want to save. It, it's, it's just to have fun. You can mess with each other. You guys can vote on what games I play. You guys can do, you guys have a lot of freedom. 
Uh, you guys could also eventually at some point when I get my use of my other arm back, maybe even be part of skits that I start, uh, I start to write, especially over on TikTok. A lot of that's where a lot I'm learning. Uh, that's where a lot of the, uh, I guess, what is it, cinematography that I'm learning uh, is it's starting on there for learning and then it's going to transition to YouTube. And you guys can be a part of that as soon as I'm able to start getting that stuff rolling out. That goes for you too. Great, great. Um, so how um, would you like to be involved in another acting gig if you uh, had the opportunity? Oh, of course. Uh, I The more I can do, the better. Uh, I love learning about it. You guys yeah. are a blast to be around. Of course I would love Thanks. to be part Thanks. of another one. Thanks, yeah. Um, so which horror film or franchise is your favorite and why? This is going to sound cheesy, but the horror film is by far, it's Jason. It's always, yeah. it's always been Jason. Uh, <laughs> I want to say Freddy Krueger is a close second. Yeah. Very, very close second. But Jason's always been my hack and slasher. He's straight to the point. Yeah. No talking. No, 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 you know, crapping around. In, yeah. out, done. Yep. Yeah. Uh, see, Jason and Michael Myers are my two favorite. Now, I like Jason. I like them for different reasons. Michael Myers, I like for the mystique factor, for the spookiness, like, you know, especially the first Halloween, like, he's, you know, he, he's stalking you, and then he slowly kills you, like, that can really happen, that's scary as hell, um, whereas Jason, I love his kills, like, his kills are so clever, so creative, that's kind of, like, I, like, with uh, Samhain, that was inspired by Fr Halloween and Friday the 13th, the kills by Friday the 13th, and the story by Halloween. I noticed the blend of them, uh, they, and, and again, it came out very well. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, I mean, that's what I was raised on. That's what I grew up on. And I absolutely love them. Uh, and I mean, they're cult, they're obviously cult classics. I mean, they're, they're you know, over 40 years ago and they're, you know, they're, they're already got, they still got this following going as strong as ever and still new movies are coming out, especially with Halloween. And it's all over Facebook. I, I see it all yeah. the time. Even if it's not uh, spooky season, like like we yeah. just had, uh, it's, there, it's all year, every year. And it's, yeah. it's really cool to see old uh old things that still have those huge followings i'm not saying yeah. like the little old followings i'm talking yeah. like these big blow-ups and it goes for yeah. music videos yeah. anything like, like people really actually go to conventions to meet the actors from friday the 13th not because oh. of the convention's name yeah there was um a one i wanted to go see i believe kane hotter was there i think it was astronomicon nice. one of my favorite bands was there and i wanted to go but I, unfortunately i was stuck at work uh yeah. but it's I, I would really like to go to these conventions. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So the last question I got for you, do you have any other, any social media accounts that you would like to promote to the listening and viewing audience? So for me, it's pretty much the basics. You got your TikTok, which I've been having a blast on lately. I noticed yeah. you having a blast on it too. Yeah. I got my Twitch. I got YouTube, which right now went from uh, actually posting stuff on it to – Kind of using it as a video on demand service from Twitch, mm -hmm. uh, but I really want to convert that back into a mainstay channel. Mm -hmm. We'll get there eventually, guys. We do have the Facebook page, all of its blaster rob. You guys can easily find it. Um, I do have a link that I can eventually send out to you guys. Uh, it's it's it gives it gives a list of all the stuff that I am. You can it, it's all in one place. You can click on whatever one you're interested in. It'll just send you right to it. Soon on TikTok, we will have a merch store. I'm kind of waiting to, to get that up and running because I want to run. My uh, my girlfriend is actually hap, uh, helping me with uh, some of the, the uh, some of the logos and stuff like that that we want to put yes. on the tea mug stuff like that. We're we're getting there. We're getting there. But as far awesome. as it stands right now, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, right. basically the basics. Right. Just like Bully Ray says, slow and steady wins the race always <laughs> <laughs> well i thank you rob so much for joining me hey thank you scotty i really yeah. appreciate it thanks for yeah. having me on not a problem thank you have a good rest of your night <laughs> you too scotty right. goodbye bye. all bye